it's me, Buffy, and I have so much to share with you today. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates by half a percentage point on Wednesday and projected at least 75 basis points of increases in borrowing costs by the end of 2023. That too with a rise in unemployment as well as a brief slowdown in the economy. What else is on the table? Well, I'm more than happy to share. Yep. But first, I must say I truly appreciate you all for joining me on our third episode of the December Weekly Market Insight Series, which comes directly from our Capital Markets Trading Desk at SunWest Mortgage Company. So let's get into it. Okay, the opening gains of this week faded in a flash when the market received the hawkish comments from Fed Chair Powell. Evidently, it was slightly hotter than expected. The Fed concluded its two-day policy meeting on Wednesday and announced a half-point interest rate increase. While that would be a smaller hike than implemented in the last four meetings, it put rates at the highest level since 2007. Meanwhile, a key gauge of U.S. November consumer prices posted the smallest monthly advance in more than a year, indicating the worst of inflation has likely passed. The overall CPI increased 0.1 from the prior month and was up 7.1 from a year earlier as lower energy prices helped offset rising food costs. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen mentioned that inflation will be much lower by the end of next year, as long as there's no unanticipated shocks to the economy. So what else is driving the market? China has been moving away from its COVID zero policy following a wave of protests, offering prospects for a revival in demand in the world's largest crude importer. U.S. equity index futures advanced at the start of the pivotal week for monetary policy decisions from the Federal Reserve, European Central Bank, and a host of their peers. The global rally sparked by softer than forecast U.S. inflation came to an abrupt halt on Wednesday after Powell reaffirmed the central bank won't back away from its fight against inflation despite mounting fears of job losses and a recession. Optimism among U.S. small businesses ticked up in November, although persistent price pressures and a tight labor market continue to undermine sentiment. The National Federation of Independent Business overall optimism index rose 91.9 last month from 91.3. Applications for U.S. unemployment benefits fell last week to the lowest in September, another sign of resiliency in the labor market amid a weakening economy. Initial unemployment claims decreased by 20,000 to 211,000 in the week ending December 10th. The U.S. labor market has so far remained largely resilient to the Federal Reserve's aggressive campaign to cool the economy in an effort to tame persistent inflation. Let's see how the housing market is doing, huh? All right, well, the mortgage market disregarded a slight increase in interest rates last week. Refinance applications posted a second weekly gain, and the purchase mortgage index resumed the upward trend. The Mortgage Bankers Association said its market composite index for the week ending December 9th increased 3.2%. The refinance index was 3% higher week over week, whereas the purchase index was up 4% from one week. Meanwhile, the Fannie Mae's Home Purchase Sentiment Index showed some signs of life in November, posting its first increase in nine months. The index is at 57.3 and has gained 0.6 points compared to its all-time low in October. In conclusion, well, we all know the U.S. has battled the worst inflation in four decades this year as the global economy dealt with post-pandemic demand and supply shocks following Russia's war in Ukraine. After hitting a peak of 9.1% in June, consumer inflation finally slowed down to 7.1% in November from 77 the previous month. Despite the fact that November's CPI report was a second month of good news on inflation, December's report brought a third. Chair Jerome Powell didn't hesitate to reaffirm that the central bank won't back away from its fight against inflation despite mounting fears of job losses and a recession. Seems like this new slowdown in the reading of CPI data is not leading any change on the Fed's path on policy as of now and is extending the window for market volatility ahead as clarity on inflation still remains elusive. So that's all we have for the week. As always, guys, stay tuned and be updated with our news and our trading desk will keep you informed with our pricing incentives. Have a great weekend. Happy holidays.